Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm here practicing some stamping and I'm using the OS2 plate. And let's see which design I want to try. I'm going to try these roses again. If you follow me on Facebook, you've seen that I showed a sample one I did. A practice one actually of the roses. And it's right here. So I'm going to show you again how I did that. And this time I'm going to use black outlining. So the black polish I like to use for stamping is... Let me clean this plate right quick. The black polish I like to use for stamping is... China Glaze. And it's called Liquid Leather. Well, that's good enough. That's how it looks. So now I'm going to let that dry and then I'm going to color it in with some nail polish. And this plate etching is really, really good because it does not take a long time to clean. As you can see, there it goes. It's already clean. Okay, now I'm going to color it in. I'm going to color in with some Zoya polishes. So that's it all colored in. This is how it looks on the other side. <laughs> so I'm going to let that dry and then I'll show you how I apply it to the nail tip which I already have pre-polished here. And the color background I use for that one is from China Glaze and this one is called Oxygen. You got to make sure your nails are dry every time you're stamping. Make sure all your nails are dry. So, I'll be back and I'll show you when this has dried up, okay? Okay, once it has semi-dried, as you can see, there's no polish. You're going to add a clear coat, a thin layer of clear coat on your nail. And it'll be better if it's a fast drying one, so it could dry faster. Okay, here we got a thin layer. Oh no, I'll just put that piece of fiber back in my bottle. Okay, we're gonna let this dry, semi dry, until it's a little tacky. And there we go. There go the roses. I'm just patting it down. If you don't want no fingerprints, you could use your stamper head to pat it down. And that's how it looks. Very, very pretty. So I'm going to add another design up here. Let's see. Now i got to let this dry. And then I will apply it on this side. So 
this is how it looks now all I'm gonna do is add top coat fast drying top coat Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.